We're going to be covering one Fight Night 19 now. Ooh, look at the background changes. Everything goes to black and gold. I absolutely love it. Uh, I forgot to put my one shirt on. This would have been a good, good time to be like... Got my Oakland but hat on. That looks this is the second hat. event we're covering. Second event, everybody, which is awesome. Uh, can't <laughs> wait. Oh, no balloons came up. But our, all right. Oh, we never did that. UFC yeah. Fight Night 19. Time to go here. We had uh, Jonathan no, Haggerty versus night, Felipe 19. Lobo. One fight nine nine. Sorry, let's 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 reintroduce it real quick so we have the easy yes. cut for Rich. This is one fight night. One 19. fight night. Jonathan Haggerty 19. versus Felipe Lobo. That's where this there we clip go. will start. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, when one puts together these fights with like the best strikers in the world, it seems like they always deliver. A lot of times we get this guy's the best versus this guy's the best, and then it doesn't deliver, right? Not with one. Super like Takara, super like Rod Tang, uh, super Bon to uh, Tawan Chai, super Bon uh, Chingiz Alizov. They always deliver. We have Haggerty versus Lobo, and it's a fucking fight for the ages. This was incredible, dude. It was so good. Look, man, for me, it's getting so hard to beat Muay Thai with the four ounce gloves, dude. It's there crazy. is crazy nothing better in MMA than Muay Thai. With the four ounce gloves, dude. And look how much it, it wakes up the is. crowd. Huh? Genevieve says, Woo, let's go. Ganska says, Haggerty fight was a banger. Key says, Oh, damn, not leaving yet. Anyone here from the one watch party? Dude, it gets to be, it's provocative. It gets the people going. <laughs> four ounce gloves. Nominal Will Ferrell drop, dude. Yeah. Nominal Will Ferrell drop. I like it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we had Haggerty versus Lobo, man. The first round was insane. Dude, absolutely. Because you're madness. like, The past few Haggerty fights, he's just dispatched people he's just ran through them with vicious combinations that push kick to the body sets him up because now they're on the retreat and he just runs at him closes that distance that he created and just blitzes him and drops him and then drops him again and then drops him again and you're like this guy's a fucking world beater and then lobo is like check out these body shots huh the body shots man just boom 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 and then you have haggerty retreating with his high guard still because he's like well, he's hitting me to the body, but I don't want him to come up with anything. So he keeps on retreating back. And he's like, yeah. all right, dude, if you want to keep on leaving your body exposed, I'll just eat <laughs> yeah, away your ribs and liver, dude. It was insane. Yeah. Hard, hard shots, man. Anonymous says, early stoppage. Lobo should have been given a full count. I've seen guys in worse shapes on Friday fights and make a comeback. Yes, but then there was a video after the stoppage that I saw at ringside of him trying to stay upright. And I was like, never mind. That was a good stoppage. <laughs> <laughs> Dude was not there anymore. Uh, it's but Olivier that, Koss, man. Yeah, he's a boss. Um, he's a boss, too. But he's like, body shots, body shots. Eventually, Haggerty's like, okay, I need to start yep. curling a little bit. And then he's like, cool, I'll just hit you in the temples now. Your, your chin's and your jawline's covered, but check out these temple shots. And Haggerty has to sit on the ropes, and they, they give him a count. And you're like, holy shit. Is Lobo about to dispatch the guy who dispatches people? And then Haggerty, somehow, he's on his back foot, and Lobo's landing big shots, and then Haggerty's shelling up, and then he's like, I'm going to start throwing back. And he lands some beautiful shots of his own, and it's cr it's pure chaos. Ray Flores on the commentary, by the way, absolutely fantastic. He was so good on the call this fight because, I mean, there's no moment to podcast or talk about – Oh, this is – you can't talk about anything other than immediately what's happening. And he was just shouting over Lumpini and just makes the fight so much more epic because they're trading these shots. Haggerty goes down. Haggerty comes back. He drops Lobo. He drops Lobo with a sick low left hook. He throws a spinning back elbow, uppercut to left hook, and drops him. And you're like, this is fucking amazing. And then the third round, he just that, that step in overhand right as Lobo tries to jump in with a leaping left hook. And yep. he, it sounds like a light breaks in the venue. He cracks him hard, and and that's it. And that was so it. tough too, man. Because I almost like could see the excitement in Lobo's face because mm -hmm. when he's gonna throw the hook, like he doesn't throw it from up here. Like he drops it to cock it back, and yeah. when he drops and he's coming up, that's when he gets caught. And I'm like, oh no, you know he saw an opening, and he's like, oh here it comes. Yeah, and he gets dropped, man. So, uh, but man. it was just madness for three rounds. You want to see some of it? Oh, why not? Please. Let's let's instead of listening to us, <laughs> look at schmucks, look at this picture of Olivier Cost too in the background. Do you see that? We go back, look, dude. I so love good, this picture. Dude. 
And Haggerty just because so Haggerty had to dig deep for this one. It's been a long time since he's been hurt. And Rod Tang hurt him to the body. So Lobo was probably like, these body shots are it, right? Uh, shout out Ganscow was a solid card, but the morning one card may have been even better than the night card. Dude, there was one specific fight on the Friday fights that was absolutely incredible. Um, which we're not gonna have time. We're already an hour in, but um to see Haggerty go through that those moments of adversity and then score those knockdowns and just roar. Just it's so primal to come back from those dark moments and then flip the tables and finish the guy. It's fucking incredible, dude. So um, good, man. Let me pull up the clips because look, we can we can talk about it, but but watching it really does um it's fucking it's just amazing. And look at Shout out to one uh, once again for uh, letting us show these clips, man. Yeah, and uh let me make sure the vo- volume's not super loud. Um all right, let's let's see some of this. And shout out to one for just putting this on YouTube. Yeah, for real. Look at like these combos. Shots to the body. Oh and the left God. hook by Haggerty. Step in elbow. Spinning back elbow. Spinning back elbow. Look this at, is the first round. Stop action. Oh my god. He's sitting on the ropes and Lobo's like, Yeah. Cool, dude. Tee him up. Yeah. Teeing it up for me. I'm, pat, pat, I'm landing shots, shots till right you to pull side. me off of him. <laughs> oh my god. So good. And you're like, Is he about to get dropped? And Haggerty goes forward after that. And he's throwing these elbows. And now we're in the second round here. And again, those body shots from Lobo and a right hand from Haggerty. I mean, just back and forth, dude. Swinging and banging, but it's still super technical. Nice and, uh, the, the footwork work from Haggerty. Haggerty. Like, there's been a couple yeah. times where, like, switches stances really fast, yeah, leads with that right, and then comes in with that left. So good. Yeah. And oh, now he hurts geez. Lobo with the right hand. And another one. And the left hook hurts him. And you're just like, what is this fight, dude? This is crazy. I think this is where I texted you, too. And I was like, what is this? Yeah. <laughs> so I said, good, this is man. what legends are made of or some stupid shit like that. <laughs> and look at this. One of the, body like, lines that Ilya Teporio would have used. Yeah. <laughs> And then here's the uppercut, and then left hook, bam, drops him. Oh, wow. And you're like, wow, dude, we're in this now. A knockdown yeah. a piece. Anonymous says Lobo did much better than anyone expected. 100%. 100%. Hey, shout Look out to Josh. just chasing him down so after the first insane. one. Yeah. yeah, shout out. Cool slot out there. Man. Look, another That's... spinning back elbow. Lobo says, I don't give Lobo a says, bring it. Yeah. And, like, see, this is the, the thing, too, man. Like, you see punches and kicks slow down just a little bit. Like, things become a little more labored. But it's oh, still, like, a high intensity. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. The uppercut from nice Haggerty was uppercut. really nice. Yeah. There it is again. Nice read he was making, right? Yeah, but then a big left hook. That was the left hook from Lobo that he thought he was going to land in the, in the oh. third round. And here he is. He's got Haggerty hurt again, backing him into the corner. This is still in the second round, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, this is still one round, dude. <laughs> and then Haggerty turns him into the corner. Oh, oh big God. elbow. Elbow. <laughs> and I love how and they Olivia's take like, one second, and Olivia <laughs> Cost is like, choke. <laughs> yeah. Fight. <laughs> Come on, let's go, oh, guys. a big right hand. Oh. That's what puts him down. And that was it. Yeah, I mean, when he turns and your face bounces off the, the, the canvas like that, when you try to stand yeah. up, I mean, I mean, right now my heart's already racing. I know, me too. I already dude. watch this. Uh, Blunderbuff says lots of people say they have that dog in them, but it's different to watch someone pull it out in the moment when the win is in doubt like this. Every time he got hurt, he turned into a damn animal. A hundred percent. Oh he yeah, couldn't have said it better. Um, there's also uh, shout out the uh, the one Instagram because there's some sick ass clips from like uh, cage side or ring side, I should say. Um, well, I pull this up. You want to read that comment from Genevieve? Yeah, Genevieve says, I think I said in the Discord chat, but Haggerty's biggest advantage is that he actually keeps his hands up like a traditional boxer, not like a Muay Thai fighter. That high Ooh. guard. Yeah, good I call. can see that because a lot of Muay Thai fighters do that framing, right? And they, they hide their chin and their jaw with their shoulders, um, which doesn't work as well with the four ounce gloves, right? Um, but check out this, K- or this ringside uh, clip, huh? Shout out once Instagram. Let me actually pull it back Ooh. again. Oh, there you go. Those are the same combo from, uh, was it from the first round? Or was the second round? Second round. Oh, step and elbow. Was it from the 
you would need to. And then here's the the knockdown. Finish. Oh man, sound. And yeah, this is where the brutal. face plant. Yeah. That was good stop, I think. Okay. He's out of it. He's he's out of it. Yeah. It's tough. I've seen if look, you could argue you could have let him keep going, but the flip side of this is Haggerty versus Nango, where <laughs> Just because he kept getting back up doesn't necessarily mean the fight should continue. Because we and saw uh, you were talking to Olivier Cost right after the fight. Yeah, what did he tell me? Let me pull it up. Actually, um, yeah, yeah. I thought, Gans I think says this would be a good a opportunity. Discord chat, Ganscout, uh, hit me up on Instagram. I'll try to get you into that. Um, but yeah, Olivier, I messaged him and he was like, "I was like, dude, what is it like in a fight like that? Are you just so focused on, you know?" I said, uh, when you're in a, in a fight, or in there for a fight as insane as that Haggerty fight was, are you able to recognize just how incredible the fight is? Or are you just so focused on officiating that it doesn't really register until after the fact? And he said, bro, to me, I focus on the action and make sure that I always have make the right call. But in this one, during the fight, I was like, fuck, that's insanity. <laughs> <laughs> so good, man. Right. Shout out Olivier Cost, man. Yeah, super good. Olivier is awesome. Oh. Cool guy. All right. Uh you want to move on to the next one? Yeah, yeah. That's probably enough for the Haggerty Lobo fight. But if anybody hasn't watched that fight, I mean, we watched most of it here. Shout out one for putting it on YouTube, but fucking incredible. I've watched it like three times now. It's so good. So good. Awesome, man. All right. We had a Sam Pet versus Rabba as well. Yeah, this one, there was some bad blood, right? Because uh, Muhammad Yunus Rabba, they fought originally like a month ago, maybe a little bit before that. It seems recent, right? And uh, Sam Pet hits him with that step back counter, drops him. But then Rabah knocks him down. And then on the finish, he drops him. And while Samapet is on the ground, he throws a knee and it lands mm. flush. And they yes. call the fight. But And it was like, that was clearly illegal. An illegal knee, yeah. Uh, shout out to uh, Muhammad Rabah's uh, coach for DMing me after the fact because I talked shit about it on Instagram. And then he was like, you know what? You're right. I respect you. And I was like, oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, but, you know, uh, since then, I think Rabah has really um, – carried himself well um because he missed weight for that first fight and then the illegal knee then he was like shushing the crowd and it was like ah kind of rubbed me the wrong way but then it's like you know he he missed weight because he took the fight on like four days notice so i'm okay with that right um here he makes weight they're very respectful with each other the whole time they there was a little bit of bad blood right just because of the outcome of the first one but it didn't seem like they like hated each other or anything like that i thought he carried himself really well and he actually came across incredibly likable to me um but some pet was like i don't give a fuck i'm not leaving any doubt because i'm just gonna come through and storm through you last time he fought on the back foot and he got that knockdown but then eventually fighting off the back foot is what got him the loss and this fight he didn't take one step back not one it was uh nasty lightning was nasty. fast left hand dude which time just every time because over every single time <laughs> yeah and i put down it doesn't because i rock Rabbi has a size advantage, right? He's super lanky. It could be hard to close a distance. And on my notes, I specifically put, I, I guess it doesn't matter when you have a lightning fast left hand like that. You don't have yeah. to wonder how you're going to close a distance. You're like, let me just step in. And before he can retaliate, before he can counter, my left hand is going to meet his face every single time. Yeah. And Genevieve says, I still think he threw this fight to wipe the slate clean from that knee. He just didn't look like he was trying it all this time. I think there's a combination of two things. I don't think he threw the fight, but I do think, first off, I don't know if he expected Semipet to storm forward like that, considering the first time they fought, it was the exact opposite. Um, and that took him by surprise. And when the first time he got caught, I think he was kind of compromised since then. Um, the second thing is, uh, shout out Nick Atkin. If you don't follow Nick Atkin, follow Nick Atkin. But um, he talked to him uh, before and after the fight and said that Rabah was uh, pretty sick. Uh, the week leading up to it and was like Mm. had like a stomach virus or something leading up to the fight and that might also contribute to what looked like a lack of trying might just be that his body was fucked (laughs) yeah and uh but who knows that's all in that that stuff you know said after the fact you never really know exactly how um accurate it is it could just be an excuse all that stuff but i i I do want to give him the benefit of the doubt um let's watch some of these uh knockdowns and i like to see the respect after because there's a bad blood fight Seeing the respect after is always cool. Um, yeah, for sure. Let's see, let's see some of these highlights, huh? 
Was this the left hand that I was? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and, and the then cheeky, he steps in. The, the cheeky kick. <laughs> yeah, He's like, you want to meet me on the ground? It looked like he held back, though. Yeah, he did. He pulled back there. Yeah. Damn. Pulled back. There's left that left hand. again. So dangerous, man. Yeah, bro. The way that uh, Rabba looked around was kind of like, oh, man, I really don't yeah. want to be here right now. Yeah, and then now. big shots there. Big right hand around the guard. And then that left again goes through. And you could tell Semipet is just kind of holding him up. And as soon as Semipet disengages, he falls down. And you're like, ooh. And yeah. when he got back up, I couldn't see a picture of it, but his forehead was fucked. I don't know what happened, if he, if it was from the face plant or what, but it was like, oh, no. Yeah, that knot he had? Yeah. Brutal. Yeah, it looked pretty bad. Brutal. Um, But, yeah, I mean, if you had a stomach virus, man, and you're going in there and you're taking shots to the body like that too, your only focus is probably, like, making sure you don't shit your shorts, you know what I mean? Yeah. Poor yeah, guy. Anonymous, uh, Keith says, okay, gents, I better get gone uh, or I'll be doing groceries with an angry wife. <laughs> shout out, Keith. Hey, shout out, Keith. Man. Anonymous says, uh, Rabo was like two pounds overweight and suddenly made weight at the last minute and probably had a brutal weight cut. Yeah, that's another that thing. That too? He said that the, being sick with the weight cut was really hard for him. So, Good point by Anonymous. Yeah, maybe I they'll like do it. a third one, huh? I don't know. <sighs> All right. Uh, uh, we're also going to be covering, uh, let me see here, Abisolo versus Lacey. Luke Lacey, yeah. The chef. Yeah. And is it Lacey? Because I kept on hearing him say Lacey yesterday too. I think he's Lacey. Um, but, dude, when they announced this fight, I was like, holy shit. I'll pay just to watch this fight because Abisola has been in nothing but bangers. He's so – his nickname, Silky Smooth, is perfect. The guy is incredible to watch. And then Luke is a fucking dog. His fight with Smoke and Joe Natawat, if you haven't seen that, Find it somewhere and watch it because it was a dog fight. And so when they matched this up, I was like, dude, that's like a main event level fight. And they had it like fifth on the card. I was like, this is crazy. Um, first round, trading leg kicks, feeling each other out a little bit. Second round, dog fight. <laughs> Luke knocks down Abasolo. And you're like, I was like, oh no. Because I have, I, I like Abasolo. I, there's like connection there too. But um, I like both of them. But then, he gets up, they start trading, and he drops Luke. And it looks like when Lawler dropped uh, um, uh, Rory McDonald at the end of their fight, where he mm. like hits him with a straight, and he kind of like crumbles down instead yeah, yeah, of like yeah. a knockdown. Delayed. And I was like, it's oh delayed. no, yeah, it was delayed. And I was like, this might be it. But then Luke just gets up, and they start swinging and banging again. It was awesome. What a fun fight, dude! Abasolo, because uh, I'm still fairly new to one, right? Yeah, uh, and so I'm still getting used to all these names, and getting you also all, all these fighters. Of course, you have uh, Superlek, Ratang, you know, you have Stamp, which are all the ones that, that are uh, just superstars already within the organization. Uh, yeah. Mike and Musumeci, by the way, one of the best Instagrams to follow. Uh, but yeah. Eddie Abasolo really? is a name that has stuck with me because every single fight I've watched of his is an absolute banger, man. Super yeah. exciting to watch. Super creative. Now in that first round, he had a. Uh, what was it? It was like a left hook, right uh, kick to the thigh, push kick. Left Dude, hook, yeah. right kick to the thigh, push kick. And he kept on doing it over and over and over again. I was like, well, if it's working, man. Yeah. And and th there's another combo he threw where it was like a jab, outside leg kick, step through, right cross off the mm, right yep. leg kick. And it was like, oh, it's money. What a great combo. Uh, Luke, I thought, did a really good job using his range with his hands his reach advantage with his hands. I thought he, he used that really, really well. And then the end of the fight is just the last the 20 last seconds. seconds. Oh was my it 20 God. Se <laughs> They're just swinging and banging. Luke lands a high kick. Eddie finishes with a Superman punt. Like it was just crazy. These guys were like, I don't want this to go to the decision because it was close. They both dropped each other in the second round. It was a close fight. Uh, I, so, I how, see a lot uh, of people saying, uh, go ahead. How good was it though where like, even Olivier Cost was like, oh, I got to do something to stop this now. Yeah, he jumps, just in. jumps on top of both of like a spider <laughs> yeah. monkey and just separates them <laughs> like that. Dude, he's such a savage. Yeah. Uh, you want to see it? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Is also, the, the last 10 seconds after. or? No, no, just some of the clips, but it does have the last 10 seconds too. But love the respect between the two guys uh, after going through a war like that. Um, all right, let's see here. Super Ooh, cool man. lean backs from both guys, too, to evade high kicks. Matrix style. 
Oh, Sick man. sweet from Luke. Nice right hand that drops out of solo. Yeah. I mean, just a quick recovery from Abasolo, though. Yeah, from both guys, really just yeah. nice elbows from Luke. Nice elbows from Abasolo. Saying Abasolo is ripped. These photos look like a painting. <laughs> yeah. On that. One photographers are really good. Hey, how dare you? We can bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> nice uppercut from Luke with the or from Abasolo. There's the left hand. That oh, there's that him. delayed. Can you can you go back real quick on that one? Because I thought it was oh. it was done too, just with the way that he fell back. I was oh, like, there's no way. Oh. oh, no way he's gonna be able to get back up. And look, he just walks off. He's like, okay, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> what are like, the most on, awkward dude. knockdowns? Shots to the body too. Yeah, that, Again, that man, combo right there, dude. Muay Thai with the four ounce gloves. It's almost man. like they don't have a choice man. but to, to go to war. You have Muay Thai to. with four ounce gloves. Yeah. Abasolo is my favorite Muay Thai fighter, says Anonymous. I can't believe he's he's 37. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. What? So to answer your question, yeah, on that. <laughs> nice left hand. But like, how do you not that's respect? Look that's at that experience you see there. Luke. Nice right hand and then left hook to the outside leg kick. I really like the way Eddie mixes in the low kicks. It's really cool to watch. And here's the last 30 seconds. Get ready. Damn, right hand by Luke. Slip. High kick. Oh, wow. High kick. Superman punch. <laughs> left hand. <laughs> like, look at look at <laughs> Olivier God, so good. Oh man, man what a fight. What Very a fight. fun fight. And it's one of those things where um, you know, one seems to really reward fighters for having bangers, win or lose, as long as they're in good fights, one's like, we don't even care. You're gonna keep getting marquee matchups. We don't care if you're on a losing streak or anything like that. You keep showing out. Uh, that's the, that's the way to do it there. Anonymous says both these guys should be on the upcoming USA card. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. Look at the respect. Luke gets his hand raised and then gives credit to Eddie. I mean, just very cool. And this could have gone either yeah. way. I thought this is a coin flip. It was a really, really close fight. Really close fight. Yeah. Um, all right. Bob says uh, this match notable in the fact that Lisi is one of only one of the only fighters I've seen in one actually raise his hands when asked to do so by the ref. <laughs> yeah, because. When you get dropped and they're like, all right, put your hands up. Most people are just like, all right. And then they just let it go anyways. You know, they never like say they're good. Uh, and they let it go anyways. But uh, yeah, respect. Uh, George says Bell PFL versus Bellator preview. What do you what, we want to just do this all day? Come on, George. We got, we're already an hour and 15 <laughs> minutes in. We got one more fight to cover. Uh, Ganska says, loved watching the Americans put on some fire. Uh, Muay Thai and Lumpini. Yeah, it is cool. Yeah, is cool absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Uh, the last fight we're going to be covering is uh, Martina versus Wonder Girl. Dude, Martina versus Kaczynska. You, don't, you didn't watch this, huh? Not yet. Dude, so we'll watch the clips, but Wonder Girl, right? She's a mainstay in one. She's got a big name. She's been struggling lately, though. She fought Zhang Jinan uh, and got rocked. Um, but she's a gamer, dude. And Martina came in, her one debut. Um, she's got Joanna on her team, dude. Uh, young Jacek, you want a champion? She's Polish, dude. Her combinations, she's like Marab, but with Joanna combos. Imagine oh that. Instead of wrestling, she's like she's the Muay Thai Marab, basically. Muay Thai Marab, Martina Muay Thai Marab, Krasinska. Uh, she's a <laughs> fucking savage, dude. I think one should get the marketing behind her and just promote the hell out of her because this was a coming out party performance. Just absolutely relentless with her combinations and Crazy. she's only muay thai right just muay thai yeah okay dude this could be a very this is a potentially big star here uh for for one and i felt bad for wonder girl man she's been struggling and just um it's been tough genevieve says martina uh is going to be one to keep an eye on for sure this was a great fight uh poetan's back uh after training hey, with steven out, seagal Poetan. says rate my profile pick uh oh, how dare you it's a sleepy vote. What? How dare Oh, no. <laughs> Should have been a picture with uh, you and uh, Steven Seagal. Steven Seagal. Uh, yeah, that would have been awesome. Yeah, just, you know, from the get-go, they start, and Wonder Girl's like, I want to start fast. She walks forward and starts throwing a combination, and Martina was like, I want to start fast too. And they both start trading immediately, but Wonder Girl only throws like a three-punch combination, whereas Martina's like, a nine nine strike combination with mixing in her body kicks, in mixing in her leg kicks and kicks. She's mixing, she's putting together her hands and her kicks so well. 
and it's just nonstop. Um, Anonymous says Wonder Girl and Supergirl need a whole new team if they're serious about fighting. Yeah, it's been a struggle lately mm. for both of them. It's been a struggle. Um, but we probably don't have to go through all the pictures on this one. You want to just watch some of these combos and become sure. a fan of this girl because I guarantee you she's going to be a favorite of yours. Uh, oh, God. There's the finish. Oh, man. It's brutal. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's Curly go ahead and watch it. Position, huh? Yeah. No, no chance but to stop it. You got to stop it. This is the start of the fight. We're four seconds in. Oh, wow. Nice elbow. Leg kick. Leg kick. I mean, Knee Wonder Girl's like, what do I even elbow. do? <laughs> like, Jeez. what do you even do to this? Just overwhelming. Yeah, absolutely overwhelming. I feel overwhelmed right now. I'm not even in there with her. Yeah. Look at, oh, my. I mean, look at her, dude, and mixing in these kicks with her Five punches. punch combo followed up by body. What is going on? It's crazy, dude. And then knees. Oh, my God. Oh, body kick. He has a smack on it. Wow. I mean, Wonder Girl's just like, I can't do anything. Yeah, she looked exhausted, too. Yeah. Probably just from getting beat up. Oh, body shots shot. to the body that right there. The body she just goes up. Yeah. Olivia's like, oh, That's should I, should at. I not? Yeah, okay. What a little I mean, just, monster. Dude, like I said, get the hype train behind her. Put her on all the promotional material. It's crazy. Anonymous says she reminds me of Nisa Mexican with those combos. Dude, Mexican's so good. And yeah, she's just over and over and over and over. Body kick. You think that she's... Most people... They throw like a, like a four punch combination, finish it with a body or a kick, and you're like, "That's how you finish the combination." That's like, that's like the comma in her combination to then go to more punches. It's crazy. I was watching that, just like, "Holy shit, dude!" They have a star, and then they give her the bonus at the end. And you're just like, "This is amazing. She's incredible." Come on. Wow. I think there's a picture that, of her was... getting the bonus. Did I put a picture in there, Rich, of her getting the bonus? This is what's going to win you over completely here. That was amazing. There you go. Aw, look Ramiro, at her. She's Ramiro's so new favorite fighter. <laughs> look at her. She yeah. seems so happy, like genuinely happy. She's like, oh, thank you. For yeah. The <laughs> uh, and, yeah. And and uh, I think that's all we're going to cover for one. Shout out Thong Poon for getting the, uh, to get the card started with a sick ass three knockdown finish in the first round. Just left straight, left straight, left straight. It was awesome. Um, Money. But yeah, fun, fun events, dude. What a good weekend for fights. Just a good weekend for fights, huh? It was a lot of fun. We needed this, man. It had been a minute since we had a like, really solid event from the UFC come through at the same time that we had a solid event from one. Uh, I feel like all of uh, one's uh, fight nights have been pretty solid. Um, so, man, just who got back, uh... back. Hey, everybody. Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap uh the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here uh don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have uh, and don't forget to tune in live every sunday morning at 9 a.m pacific 12 p.m eastern uh and you can join in on the fun yeah don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell it goes a long way all right everybody thanks for watching that short clip from story of the fight